616 Games presents Trash Horror Collection 3. And. Yeah! Toilet Man! Mannequin! Freddy Krueger looking like a motherfucker there! Stepped on us! And the butcher! And a man with a giant pumpkin face! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, that nun is bleeding for a while. Is that even a nun? <laughs> Whoever it is, they've been bleeding for a while. What are you killing in the background? Is it a Santa Claus? <laughs> I love... I just love everything, how random it is. You know, low poly, high poly, low poly, low poly, random poly, high poly, mixamo, man. Choose game. Damo next. SMS next. Back next. Did I play the previous mode game? I'm actually not sure if I have played the previous mode game. I think I might have. Okay. Um, this is this is a studio that makes really trashy horror games. <laughs> Let's see if they improved this one. Mold to Origin takes place before the first game in the series, explaining the origin of the Walled Curse. Um, by series they mean only the first one, and this is the second game, so there's only two series so far. Um, it's a game with a focus on narrative and psychological horror. So don't expect too much out of it, okay? If you do, it's your fault. 1965. I'm sorry, my love. I did this for the both of us. We lost our son, and now we're starving. I'm sorry. Why you ate your son? Now we won't suffer anymore. You won't abandon me anymore. Oh, that's a dead body. Those are a patch of grass. Uh-uh. What are you gonna... Ten years later. Development by Rafael Braza. Music by Carl Casey, The White Bat Audio. Executive directors, all these people. And what they say to me, directors ruin a soup. Oh, we keep on going. Oh, look at all the directors. You know, it, just like Star Wars, if you have too many directors, it's fine. Everything will be okay in the end. <laughs> what happened? I didn't know the human eye. I didn't know the human eye was a camera. Um. <laughs> no. I guess I can appreciate the PlayStation 2 era when they didn't have film grains. Okay, so I need to run away, right? No, I can't. I mean, to be fair, you know, I didn't know the government came in and really made the land thing here for the cars to run through. So good on that point. Okay. Um. Is it a... What is this? Am I going to bust ghosts? Um. Can I just leave? No. Um, what? What is this? Huh? Am I gonna survey the land? No, I don't... What is... What is... Huh? What? What? What am I gonna... Oh, I can't shoot. Detect this. Huh? Oh! Okay, wait. If this is to detect... Metal in the ground... It doesn't work like that. It only works based upon you getting, like, really close to it, first of all. And B. Um. Why? Does it... Does it say when I to to stab the ground? What in the hell? What man kills himself many years after? 
Canned sardines. Shit, just rubbish. I'll keep looking. Fish. The st hey, it's the Chilazart sardine. I hope we get the cat ending with the sardines. I'm, I'm not sure which button I should be clicking. Which button do I... Can I climb this? No. I mean... Oh, well, I guess it confirms the house is abandoned. Um, which button do I press? Can I run? Yeah, I can. Um... <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Okay, we just came to this house to start scavenging. Things that are buried... Okay, who buried a can of sardine in the ground and why? Man hangs himself. After killing wife and... The cats come in and bury sardine can. What, so the property value of sardine goes up? Um... Do I need a guide for this 5 minute game? Yeah? Okay. Which button do I press? I'm pressing both of them, is that the problem? Or I don't need to press buttons? Oh, can I go inside the house? No, there isn't much... Oh. Oh, sorry. I'm the man with the with the one leg. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. This is going to be very entertaining. I'm going to have to spend the next two hours surveying the land, clicking two buttons at the same time, trying to figure out which one does something. I... I... No? This? No. Huh. <laughs> Yeah? In the sky? By my estimation, it should be like here, no? Like under the tree? Um. Oh, I can, I can do this. I can lose my hand while doing this. Um, do I need a guide for this game already? This is amazing if I need a guide for this game. Okay, which buttons do I press? Settings, controls, in interact. So E, I'm, I'm spamming the E key, right? What, this is well hidden? Okay. Um, okay, sorry about this. I already need the guide for this game. Oh, the blinking. Okay, this is amazing. I need to look up a guide for this game to see if it's broken or not already. Wow, off to a fantastic start. Okay, I think they want me to pixel hunt in the game. Do they? Huh? Okay, my... Uh huh? Because my hand is moving, it can miss. So 616 games somehow keep on getting worse. What is that? Um, Reservolver. Oh, this is amazing. Maybe I can restore it. And do what? Do what? Start shooting people with, with the unlicensed revolver that's in the ground. Okay. I can't trust my machine. It can detect things from a mile away, but good luck pinpointing it. Also, do I have the full shovel? Or do I have like a mini shovel that I have to use by the hand near it and it's like really hard to use it? Oh, now it doesn't go bing bing. A strange amulet. Incredible, this amulet looks very old and high poly made of solid gold. That's gold. Solid gold. Are you sure about that? That should be crumbling in your hands if it's solid gold. Time to go, that's enough for today. Um, good for you, Polygon Man, that is vibrating like a PlayStation Zero graphics. Is this what we came to do? Oh, it's a full shovel, okay. Detect this. Why does it like look like a Harry Potter... You know a Harry Potter broomstick that somebody makes on DeviantArt? Here's my Harry Potter character, the metal detector. He even drives a broomstick that is like detecting metal. A metal detector for boomers when they go on the beach and try to find gold, you know? 
I know, I know, I know why boomers go to the beach with the with the thing, uh, with the metal detector because they hope a bunch of young kids that are richer than them lost their jewelry on the beach, then they can buy them and flip them. Why is this cutscene running at 30 frames? Oh, the car is 30 frames. Oh, that's a bad car. That's very vintage. That car runs at 30 frames. No, never mind. That car is stuttering. Yep. That's exactly how cars work. That's exactly how cars work. Not a single spinning wheel in sight. The only thing spinning are the CPUs running this game. Oh, hey, the filter that comes back every time. Although this time... Yeah, although that time there wasn't, like, the grain filter. You know... Okay. I'm sorry, where are we exactly? This is like, this is like, you know, a passage out of the Bible where Adam and Eve used to live. Adam and Eve in Texas. No, okay. Oh. Is that my wife? Someone was willing to marry me and come over here? Can I detect her? No, she's not precious metals. Um. Her mind is broken at this point. She's a broken woman. She's just staring off into the void. Every day, I just go out with my broken, rundown truck in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by trees, where I'm gonna assume that's my wife if it's my sister. There are some serious implications. I just go scavenging for loot. We survive on one tuna can. I come back home. And she just stays here doing nothing. You came in... You came in blind, darling. Do you find anything interesting? I came in blind. Oh, huh? What do you mean I came in blind? Don't... That's bad talk. That's not... Well, I mean, there's nobody out in public. So yeah, I, I guess I came in blind inside. Um, what happened to my beautiful high resolution hands? And why do I look like that? I love the hat. It's high poly. The stuff on me is higher poly than me. I found a roast revolver, a can of fish, and this. Look, an amulet. Maybe it's valuable. By the way, we're gonna eat like kings tonight. We got a can of fish. It seems to be made of gold. It's very beautiful. Not that I care about anything anymore. I'm going down to the basement. I need to restore this revolver and see if this amulet is worth anything. Okay, honey. Don't go spending the night in the basement again. Or please do. You know, Bob is coming over later. I don't want to sleep alone. Well, you, you tell me I come in blind, so I don't know what you want from me. Um. Huh? Um. Is that a light switch on the outside of a cabin wood? Um. <laughs> what? So people can switch off the lights on us? I mean, there's nobody, so. Oh, right, the basement. Um. That's just a light switch. Why do we have a light switch on the outside of our house? Um. Oh, hey, weapons. What, we stuck them with silicone? Drop items. This must be rotten. It's going straight to the trash. Then why did you bring it with you? Were you trying to clean the environment? Here in the trash. Oh, it comes prepared with a trash bag. Oh, how nice. This one goes straight to the cleanup table. This? Tars later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it comes with bullets as well! Wow, we got a real deal here! It was perfect, goes to the weapon wall. What do you mean it was? I feel like you'd put this in the middle, or maybe to the side. Also, why are the guns pointing this direction? Let me guess, my wife is coming down the stairs, she's like, Honey, I have dinner prepared. And then, you know, sometimes guns... Out of a freak accident, there's like a problem with the spring or something. It just shuts her heads off. And then I use the amulet to bring her back to life. What's this? Oh. Mary locked the amulet. I'll give it to her. Well, you better. I think that's the only thing that's going to keep your relationship going at this point. Okay, why are you holding it like the blade from Assassin's Breed? Not that you know how to breed blindly. Um, yep, that's my beautiful wife. With a red, blood red sky. Where's the moon? Oh, no moon. Oh, this is a moonless planet. Okay, it's not Earth. Oh, it's for these. 
So you know when a criminal comes over here, he can switch off the light so he has an easier time sneaking in. Closed door, gotta save electricity, man. Phone. A vintage phone. Why am I holding it like I want to stab my wife? What is... We are so poor right now. We can't even afford food. My wife just printed out a picture of food on the internet. She googled top 10 Lebanese restaurants around here. She couldn't find one. So she just printed out a JPEG and cut it out and put it there. We're truly fisting like kings, I guess, surviving on scraps of society. I just had dinner, dear, you know, even though, okay, I didn't wait for you, I guess, even though I said I don't want to go to bed lonely. I left your plate on the table. Thank you, my love. The amulet is a gift for you to bring you luck. Uh, what? What? What even implies? You know, I'm just, I'm just building up the story for her because that's what's keeping her like here, honestly. A little bit of Stockholm syndrome. I love it, dear. Thank you. I'm going to sleep now. Eat the food. It's getting cold. Just like our marriage. Okay, dear. After dinner, I'm going to sleep too. What? Well, you better. What? What a beautiful woman. <laughs> I hate my JPEGs. <laughs> there. I, I hate my JPEGs. Very clean plate, you know. Paper, I guess, doesn't make any dirt. That stupid broad didn't switch off the lights. Typical wife. Not switching off the lights when she leaves her room and goes to sleep. I gifted her pure gold. That she's stuck between her breasts that is clearly not gonna melt or anything or break. Well, what is this? This is a bathroom. I don't take a shower? I'm not gonna take a shower after being in dirt. Um, how, okay, who can even sit on that? You go straight in. I mean, I mean, you know, once you're shit, you deserve to go in there, I guess. Okay. Do like old people. Leave one light on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta do like old people, you know. Always leave one light on the house so thieves think you're in home that's what you gotta do oh look a grandfather clock or something um wait wait top 10 signs of depression bed on wall you climb on the side with your clothes and shoes on and just go sleeping without even taking a shower changing your outfit you know just in case we gotta hurry and run away from the government tomorrow because we're not paying our bills i guess i'm just ahead i'm just ahead i don't even have a body i like how her arm looked detached over there Huh? Oh, I'm having a nightmare. What place is this? Um... Are you having a nightmare because you realize your wife might be leaving you? See, this is a sociopolitical commentary. About the tunnel, the darkness, the deepness, the never-ending struggle of the proletariat class living out in the woods. Where the wife accepted them for the idiot that they are, where they go to the dead neighbor's house to scavenge loot. Huh? Is someone following me? Um, hi? <laughs> what was that? Was it Pumpkin Man? Oh, she left the light on when she woke up. Um, she drew a penis on my hand. What the fuck is this? I'm going crazy. No, I don't get. I think if you have a weird, a why, if you have a weird dead space tattoo on your hand, I don't think you're going crazy. Mary, honey, are we still not taking showers because they cut off the water? Because I can't make payments anymore. Man, let in, let in some light, man. Mary, honey, honey. Darling, where are you? What, she decided to leave me finally? Oh, good for her. I mean, I don't know much about Merit, but it feels like she can do better than me, just saying. Okay, time to find my own treasure. 
No, no, she's definitely not my treasure. My wife is not my treasure. Honey, are you playing with the guns? Um, do you need to see a doctor about that? Good morning, my love. Is everything okay, dear? Ah, yes, I'm feeling great. What are you doing down here? The wall is moldy. We need to clean it or the wood will rat. I... I mean, I think the basement is made out of cement, but that's just like my opinion, man. You can leave it. You can leave it to me, dear. I'll clean it up. Are you struggling leaving? Okay. What a beautiful creature. Oh, it's for you. Why, yes, of course. Using your underwear in water to clean off mold from cement walls is exactly how you have to do it. I, I don't think you're supposed to dip your underwear in water to clean mold, but, you know, just saying. Um, huh? Um, okay. Uh, did I put the cloth back or did I wear the underwear? That was my cleanest pair of underwear today. That underwear covered in mold right now is the cleanest thing on my body. You left the door open? Okay, Mary, we got... Look at her beautiful posture, holy shit. Can you believe I scored something as beautiful as that? God, that, ga that gamer poser. Sorry, not poser. That gamer chair pose, man, it really does it for me. You know, the hunchback of sexy dumb. Let me guess, it's gonna be nighttime, raining, or boo. The usual 616 way games of doing stuff. <laughs> it's just nighttime. <laughs> okay. Um, so we spent the entire day with an open door. We spent the entire day with an open door watching TV. Okay, did, 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 ha, did you cut out JPEGs for me? Oh, no JPEGs today! Oh, we're on a diet. Tonight, we're not gonna eat JPEGs. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Okay, but what about your wife? Is, is her hand still broken? Well, she's still trying to detach that arm. I don't blame her, honestly. With a bed like this, without the covers, without sheets, without anything, I too would want my hand to detach from my body. But more nightmares on how my wife still hasn't left me? Oh, a wall opens up in front of me if I don't pick up... Well, if I pick up the candle. God, look at my deformed... Like, like, thumb. My entire hand is deformed. Um... Hi? Uh, symbolism. I'm banging my own drums. Uh, symbolism. I want to bang. Mary, dear! You wanna... <laughs> you wanna bang, Mary? What are you worshipping? Cosplay? Oh no, the matriarch! I guess the Joker cosplay really does it for us. And she keeps on throwing more penis hands on me. Damn hold consuming the whole house. I need to throw it- What are you talking about? I need to throw it out. You need- Oh. Oh, 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 you need to throw out the amulet because it's consuming the entire house and- Including the bathtub? Oh, I can't go in there. My dudes, what is there to see? It's just a woman wearing a bra in the swimming pool. Sorry, not the swimming pool. The... The... <laughs> the bathroom. With a wooden roof. And a light fixture from like, like a company. And my wife in her pink bra is, is just in the shower. Well, this the finish of a shower in the bathtub. And we just stuck it. Just what is their room for? All this empty space, all this empty room, just for the shower. Okay. Not even the shower, just that. Just the bathtub in the corner. Not, not even, you know, those big fancy showers where, like, you can have an orgy inside it with, like, the glass door. No, just, just the bathtub in the corner. Um, so... Oh, wait, what do I do? Oh yeah, I need to get rid of the amulet or something you said. Okay, where would I keep the amulet if I was a stupid wife? Here, oh. 
Curse the amulet, I'll get rid of you. Okay, please don't tell me I'm gonna throw the amulet just like in the trash down here. It feels like maybe you should like... I hope it stays in the trash. What, we ran out of gas? We can't afford gas? We can't afford gas, that's why I can't like just throw the amulet outside. In Mount Everest over there. Let me guess, my wife has the amulet, it teleported in her hand. She's the chosen one. By the order of the fun guys. Oh, see, symbolism, my wife likes fun guys, not me. Oh no, my wife left me. Good morning, my love. Mary, this amulet. This. It's beautiful. I love it, honey. I'm feeling so alive. You don't look so good, my love. I mean, I know my life is boring, but still. You don't need to hurt me like this, that an amulet gives you more pleasure than me. This amulet has some curse. Don't touch my amulet. You're no man compared to it. It's even bigger than you. I'm calling Father Kelman. We need help. Is she gonna attack me? No. Um. Uh, I feel I feel like you can just knock out your wife and like really get rid of the amulet. Yeah, I know. It needed a new decoration, but still, green really doesn't do it. I need to call the priest. Mary's not well. Not a doctor or anybody. We're good. All. My camera is rotating by itself. Oh, because I need to put I need to put the entire phone to my ear. Father Camel's office. How can I help you? Hello, Father. <laughs> okay, that was not the secretary. That was the. <laughs> okay, I chose the voice for him. I have to go with it. Me, not Stan. Me this time. Hello, Father. This is Stan. I really need your help. Hi, Stan. How are you? Is Mary okay? I'm fine. Thank you for the pleasantries. But no, Mary's not okay. She's weird. Strange. Can you explain better, please? I found a buried amulet and gave it to her. After that, I have a strange dreams and she's acting different. Because people are always the same. An amulet? Interesting. Tomorrow morning, I'll come to your house. It's not like it's an emergency now. Thank you, father. I hope, I hope for you tomorrow. Oh, we're not that religious. Okay, so we don't believe in a higher power, but we do believe in a priest coming and exercising an amulet, I guess. Oh, while well, my wife is sleeping with the fun guys, I'm sleeping with my wife. I'm still gonna hit that with all the mold go growing around. Oh no, it's raining. It's the final showdown. I mean, yeah, I guess this is a scary story. You can't flip the house anymore for like $2 million on inflated market. What did I just see? Oh, nothing. Huh. I'm still gonna sleep next to that. Is she still wearing the amulet? Yeah, she is. It's the only thing left in your life that's giving pleasure. Um... Why is she rotating? Why is she randomly rotating? Okay. Uh, let me detach my head and just put it on the bed, I guess. Oh no! What the fuck, man? My wife became more beautiful. Stinky. Like that. Mm. Mary! Where are you, my love? Mi more. I have a flashlight for some reason on me. I came prepared, I guess. <laughs> wow. We are literally on tin wood here. A single misstep is enough. Okay, I, I can see what the mold is a problem for this house. It won't survive the rot. God, it's like one centimeter of wood. A single step will kill us. That fucking amulet must be cursed. We already established this. I'll get a gun from the basement if that creature shows up. That creature is your wife. I know she's beautiful, but still. Shotgun, of course. No. Ah! The gun with already the six bullets inside that apparently lasted for several hundred years. Where are you, wife? Wife! Um. Wife? What? Um. 
What are you doing, dear? Am I- Am I threatening my wife that ran to the library? What are you doing, my dear? Come out and play! She just ran from the bathtub. Oh, is she teleporting between walls? Mary! Dear! That wasn't you, that's our new children? Is that what you said I came in blindly? Um... Oh, they took a picture. This place again. I'm going to kill this cursed creature. Let me guess, I'm gonna kill my wife in my dream. Is this is a psychological horror game. I just realized something. Developers made a huge mistake. They literally called a horror game with real horror, with real monsters, a psychological horror. Because I wanna bang. I wanna bang my drums. Oh, hey, the happy face. What is this mass effect? I get to talk to you and make a decision. <laughs> uh, is this symbolism that they got my seed? And I made a lot of uh, mold, mold children? Hello, Stan. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? Who the hell are you? I'm a woman. Mm. <laughs> What's up? Very strange to specify yourself like this, but okay. I'm a woman who was killed unjustly. I'm suffering. What do you want from me? Leave my wife alone! You have my amulet. Everyone who has it will rot with mildew. Please, let us go! I didn't do anything bad to you! Release me, Stan. Shoot! End it! No. I choose the better option. Oh. Oh, I'm empty on the inside. <laughs> okay, illusion of choice, I guess, but okay. Mary, no! Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I clicked to skip text. <laughs> uh, by the way, does she ever... <laughs> does she ever... Does she have her amulet on her? Sorry, itchy fingers. Ah, uh, is that a child? No, um, no, I w no! Um, I'm sorry, did I just bury her under rocks? That's how much I wa I love my wife. Just an unmarked grave. I didn't even dig into the ground, I just, you know, a little bit of digging superficially and then I just put some rocks on her. Why is this, like, so imbalanced? Where did I even find the cross from? I just went to a grave and stole it. I'm so sorry, my love. I couldn't save you. Well, maybe you don't shoot her accidentally twice. So at least the house is safe, right? I can flip it on the market. Uh, six one games, six one six games. What are you trying to do? <laughs> They're trying to make it look poetic. Two days later, the priest finally came. The priest that told me I'll be here next day. They decided to come two days later. I'm gonna guess. Or or wait, what? Where's the priest? Oh no, I'm moldy. Oh um, shit, it's consuming me. I'm rotting from the inside. You also became a cannibal? Um, well, I guess you had to cover the man's genitals as he died. Clean myself with water? Oh, come on, we all know... We all know watches what cleans mold off, right? No, I even don't have the shotgun. It's a Christy fine? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, what happened? Am I, am I cannibal? I mean, I guess in this economy, it makes sense. Do I find more treasure? No. Okay, so what happened to the priest? Didn't he say he was gonna come in next day? Um, at least I got a new carpet, I guess. Also, I don't need to eat JPEGs anymore, so that's great. I take a shower with a mold. No, okay. I go to sleep because of my mold? 
Huh? Oh, it's a sequence game. I'd come up here for the... Um... <laughs> what is... <laughs> wow! Uh, wow! The Vatican fell on hard times! What is... That, that looks like a Romanian car that somebody stole! Is that the priest? Why is he wearing a leather jacket? <laughs> is it Heisenberg? <laughs> wow. Um, wow, I thought I was doing badly. He's doing even worse. I... <laughs> okay, it took you two days to come here, man. Technically three from the day I called you, just saying. My god, Stan, what happened to you? Ugh, priest, help me. Maud is slowly killing me. The tablet, I recognize him, it's a curse. I can't get rid of it. I've tried, what is the curse? Ten years ago, a woman was brutally murdered by her husband. He blamed her for the son's unt untimely death. Okay, first of all, A, how do you know about this? And B, how do you know it's cursed? Like, who, who even gave the definition of a curse for that? But didn't you say like 19 something something? I, I think it's closer to 40 years, no? Or maybe I, I forgot the dates, I don't know. It wasn't her fault. The child was born with serious illness. It's, it's, he stabbed her multiple times. In her anguish of death, she looked at the amulet she got from her father, hung around her neck. I was there, and, and it cast a curse. Whoever had possession of this amulet would not be able to prosper, would be driven mad. Everything people had would mold, be consumed, rat, until mold took over their brains. Using this person to kill and give the amulet to another, continuing the curse forever. So... If I give this ammo to someone else, do I get rid of the curse? I think you missed the- Okay, I think if, if, like, mold is growing inside your lungs at this point and on your eyes and face, I think it's a bit too late, don't you think? Yes, but condemn your soul to hell. You'd hand over evil to somebody else. Thanks for the help, priest. Um... Um, so... So, did the mold have power over me or no? Give the amulet, right? Um, there's already mold growing on the things, just saying. It seems like you don't achieve anything. <laughs> what? A week later. I like how the priest knew about everything. Th this entire village is so small that he knows about everything. Um, am I still playing? In, in the blood sky? Oh, the curse is gone. I finally got rid of this curse. I'm sorry, Mary. Are you? Are you really? Let me guess, she's still alive. She's gonna attack you, def defecate all over you. Because you didn't give her a proper burial. And... Boo! Oh, no. Still refusing to take a shower, huh? Oh, I can't close the bedroom door. <laughs> oh, no, what's gonna happen now? I wonder. Nothing bad can possibly happen, right? Absolutely fucking lutely nothing. Oh, I'm back in the dream. Right when I got out. They pulled me right back in. I could never leave this nightmare anyways. It was all rigged. From the start. What does it say, Elmo's? Ah, the bright light, ah! Ah! Shit, I can't let that thing see me. What? What? What are we even talking about? Hi! Hello? Oh, I'm getting molded. They came in and molded all over me. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Oh, I'm getting molded by the light. Why does it... Huh? Am I supposed to have a gun? Still follow me. 
They came in and molded all over the place, they mo Okay, game, first of all, A. What are we talking about? B? B, what you talking about? And, and C, what you talking about? Can I, can I run during the cutscene? I feel like the mold can just, you know, leave the lights on forever. And they got me because they know it always... So where am I trying to go? Oh, they do three times in a row. Oh, this was a long one. Oh, spooky and scary. I'm like right over here. Oh, see, she has three different patterns. Oh, it's a souls like, oh, what a good game. With a really long loading screen for one area that should... I'm sorry, is your loading screen for this game longer than Dark Souls? Just saying. Oh. God, what a... Huh? Wait, what am I doing? I just... Oh. Huh? I switched off her light? Uh, fun guys! Uh, you know, fun guys are don't like the darkness, even though... What? Sorry, I guess she was a miner in the end. What the fuck? I'm still cursed? Unbelievable. How could something lie to me like that, betray me, and then still be here? What the fuck was that? Now I got... Get, got rid... Now I got... I got... Okay, first of all, A this, thank you. Now I got rid of that thing. I got, got to, got rid, got rid of, got rid? Oh, how nice, they drained the water for me. Maybe mold isn't that bad. I need fresh air. I'm going to hunt some relics around. You mean milfs? <laughs> what, my car is covered in mold? My car spreads mold wherever it goes. It's in the engine at this point. Time to hunt some relics. In less than a week after I killed my wife and all the whores, I gotta I gotta keep my mind occupied, I guess. I hope I don't find another cursed amulet. Um Let me guess, it's in the haunted house, right? Is that a bat or no? That's a tree. Uh what is this? What an odd cabin! It's just like a, like a tiny... Weird, weird... What do you even do in this place? Someone's been hunting nearby. I hope I don't get shot. I think it's under the house. Wait, am I gonna get shot? What, you see a red truck? You think it's a buffalo? No thanks! I mean, I guess they already shot the car. What, it's my wife's... Um, cousin? He came for revenge? <laughs> See, I still was cursed. If only I had stayed home. Um... Hey, you're the guy that appears in every one single of these games. Why did you shoot me? Oh, right, because you have the amulet. Don't kill me, I don't even know you and I spread the curse already. What more do you want? You can't escape the mall, Jack. Okay, first of all, A, it's called Mold to the Origin. Except it's not the origin story, is it? Origin implies how the original, how the curse started. You know, the curse itself, the story leading up to the curse. It's not the second part, don't worry, in the future they're gonna make Mold 3. The prequel, the prequel, the sequel, the sequel, the big boogaloo. Okay, but I don't understand why the, why the Mold Simp still attacked me. I mean, it feels like I did pass part of my job, you know? Like, I spread the disease, I spread the curse even though I don't want it, so you know, just saying, oh, look at the hot piece of ass this is. God, the things I'll do to those... <laughs> Never mind. Ah, SMS! After Chance's girlfriend leaves, what were the chances, he starts getting strange messages from her number, forcing him to do some pretty weird things. 
I'll see the things simps will do for their exes. What does this MS stand for? Slaughtering men. Slaughtering men. Slaughtering men. Soliloquies? Written by Chance Rose. Oh, this is based upon a real story, right? <laughs> wow! Not even a single texture on that house! Oh, never mind. No, the houses have any texture. I like how the ground, the lampposts, the trees, everything has textures, including the plank of woods and the ground. And then all these houses, they don't even have one texture. But yeah, this is based upon the true story, of course. Everybody knows about that. Because Chance himself wrote this. So this is not your girlfriend, right? This is not the Scott Pilgrim girlfriend. This is... <laughs> Just two balloons. <laughs> so this is not your girlfriend, right? Right? This is not your girlfriend. That's your mom, right? I mean, already we established your girlfriend left you. Um... God, what depressing bedrooms. What is this? A plug. And a bathroom. And another bedroom. A bedroom for children, I guess. What a giant kitchen we have. Garage. Oh, we have a garage. With duct tape. Okay. So do we have a safe word? A phone. Just on the wall next to a door. God, this house feels very unsafe. I love, I love, I just love the random, the random, like, like, chair couch thingy in the corner. I just love that. What's even the point of that? Shouldn't be here. Also, nice Persian rug. My love, it's late. I need to go. Okay, honey. I love spending a few hours with you. The movie was horrible, but I love being with you too. You know, all that chicha around you that I get to grab onto. <laughs> you could sleep here tonight. <laughs> I'll drive you home tomorrow. Nice try, my dear, but I want to keep myself for our wedding night. <laughs> but my parents would kill me. What? Your mom inspects if you're virgin every night? I must go now. Okay, take care, my love. Don't worry, my house is on the back street. <laughs> Euphemism. As soon as I arrive, I'll send you a message. Or even a picture. I love you, baby! <laughs> oh, where is she? Did she go walking? Oh, I can't leave the territory, okay. Um, nice potted plants. Okay, where's the light for this? Where's the light? There is no light button for this, it's already a bad game. Oh, they're inside this time! Oh, what a good game. VHS. TV. Never mind. I guess just go to- Wait, isn't this like a two- two floor? No. Oh wow, in this entire neighborhood, I'm the only guy with like one door, one floor. <laughs> I'm the one floor guy in the entire neighborhood. Also tab for cell phone. My love, shall we watch a movie today? Let's go, darling, tonight at my house. Dear, but I need to leave at 11 p.m. My parents are mad at me. Okay, honey, I wait for you here. I'm missing you. Katie, you just left here. Huh? Brad. Wait, what is going on? I mean, so four, just saying, it's kind of late. Katie Hart. Brad. Hey, dude, wanna go out tonight? Drink some? Today I can't, bro I can't, brother. Katie will come, co come to the house. Shit, bro, you became a slave to this girl. I love her, man. You, you are my friend and you should understand. You know, man, I'm going to go out and have fun. See you later, brother. Brother. You're playing like a fiddle. Response. Response? Um, a am I just... Okay, what's happening? What phone do I have? Oh my god, is it a Nokia? Like one of those old Nokias? I think it is. Okay, so I take a shower right after... No, okay. Well, nobody wants to take a shower in this universe. I sleep in the master bedroom? No. That's from my mom. No, I don't sleep in the children's bedroom as well. Um. Oh, oh my, oh my god, I'm supposed to scroll down. Well, actually, not really. There's a lot, okay, so my phone has a limited amount of space memory. That's why this amount of space, you know, once it reaches, it fills up and delete delete everything. Katie? Now she's busy. Are you kidding me? You love your girlfriend? 
Who's there? What do you do with my girlfriend? This bondage. Please don't hurt her. What do you want? I don't want to hurt her, but I need to do some things for me. I'll do whatever you want. Just don't do anything with Katie. I'll bring you information about your first task soon. Don't use the phone or she dies. Okay, but then how do we get in contact? I mean, you're literally using my phone, just saying. Or do you mean my landline? Already said that, I'll do what you ask. Uh, Brad, help. Shit, I can't let him hurt her. I have to do what he wants. Um, use the stove. No. <laughs> Why can't I interact with the stove? Oh, what, I'm not hungry right now? It's good thing I put all that, all that weight, you know, so I can... Am I supposed to sleep? No. No, I guess I'll just stand around and wait. I sent a prostitute to your house. I want you to kill her. What is this, Grand Theft Auto? Kill her? Why? No questions. In your garage is a gift to help you. You got inside my garage? Oh. I was about to ask about that. An axe. Damn it. Let me guess, Katie's... <laughs> you know, you know, fair enough, I guess. Uh, I guess prostitution is available to everybody at any age, right? Even an old 70s grandma with a lot of makeup. Rose. Well, I guess she's gonna get plucked. Hi, honey. Do you want to have fun tonight? <coughs> Sorry, I'm a chain smoker. Oh, yes! Let's have a lot of fun! I charge $3.50 an hour. I guarantee it'll be worth it. Okay, no problem. I just gotta get my mom's credit card. Wait for me in the room. I left my wallet in the garage. Don't delay. Time is ticking. Um. No, I'm a. Why did you go to the children's bedroom? <laughs> I need to do this. Come on, carrot. <laughs> um. <laughs> My God, forgive me. I need it. I need to do this. In my defense, you literally... You literally fought... <laughs> okay, what, do I send a picture to confirm? Confirm kill? No, I can't confirm kill. Oh, Jason. My lord and savior, Jason. Oh, no, all the blood. All the blood. Oh, wait, just stay inside before my neighbors say anything. Bob! Uh, Bob, yes, Mary, did you hear someone screaming from that house? And they ran off with an axe and went back in. <laughs> no, I haven't. You're like a great psychopath. You know how to use an axe. I did what you ask, please. Release my girlfriend. We're not done yet. I need you to do one more thing for me. I killed a person. What else do you want from me? For now, I'll clean up the mess you made. After that, I'll send you another message. If you hurt Katie, I swear I'll kill you! Okay, Chad. Sorry, Chance. Remember, this is based upon a true story, okay? This is what happened to Chance, the story writer. Shit! I need something to pack the body. Um. You're right, we don't even have duvets to use it. Um. Something to pack the body. Like a radio? No. Black tape. Um. There'll be a lot of tape. You'd be using a lot of tape. Pack body? In what? Tape? I'm... Okay, you know about the tape project? That thing? The, the supermodels with the tape project? Guess I'll put the body inside the vent. Um, I just wasted a whole bunch of tape wrapping a body. How many tapes did I use? Oh, only one. Oh, okay, never mind. Actually, it's very highly efficient. Actually, this is good tape. Um, if you think about it, this is good tape. Yeah, uh, cook it. 
refrigerate it, microwave it. Wait, would I put it in the car? Huh. Yeah, sure, put it in your, in your mom's minivan, I guess. What, another one? Yeah? Let me guess, he ran inside my house. Good job! If it continues like this, your girlfriend will stay alive. What else do you want from me? Please, I already did what you asked! Almost done! Are you ready for the next tip? Let's get on with it! I just want a girlfriend safe! Get in your van and drive to the cemetery fast! Cemetery? Are you crazy? What's up? Killing a woman is not crazy, but driving to the cemetery is crazy. Because driving to the cemetery is not halal, apparently. <laughs> cemetery is my biggest problem. Uh, okay. Uh, do I take out the body? No. Okay. I hope my mom doesn't need a minivan tomorrow. Um. <laughs> a cemetery where you can just drive in. And it's just cemetery all over the place in front of a church. That's definitely how cemeteries work. Um, what is that? Um. <laughs> okay, the amount. Okay, what? Did we bury a giant? What is this? You got there fast. We're almost done. I'm doing everything you're asking for. Let my girlfriend go. When we're done, you two will be free. And by free means dead. What do you want me to do now? Get the body in the van and place it in the place it next to the open grave. Next. Not inside. Local woman dies, wrapped in bandages. Well, not bandages, tape. So, well, not tape. Actually, yeah, like you know, the the plastic tape that's used for electricity. I guess it was a. Oh, look, the flies are already flying around the taped body. Okay, this tape cloth is actually terrible. If it's already letting flies grow, just saying. Okay, put it beside drop body. Even the scry sorry, not the scry. <laughs> Even the sky cries tonight. What have our sins done? Yeah? What cell service is bad around here? You know, for a murderer. Well, not a murderer, a kidnapper. It seems like you guys have like. Do you think the Do you think the the psychopath, the kidnapper, is using like has a prepaid plan, and every few minutes has to he has to go and recharge his phone with another plan, in order to keep on sending messages because he keeps on running out of credit. Thanks for your help. I've done what you asked me. Not let my girlfriend go, please. She's the only one who loves my jigglies. I'm so sorry, but I can't let you go. You son of a bitch! You promised. Yeah, that is our biggest concern, isn't it? He promised. He promised. That was his biggest concern, that he promised. He promised. How could a kidnapper that made me kill a woman promise me not to live, huh? How could... How, who could have predicted we couldn't trust him? Unbelievable. Oh, let me stealth. Uh... Oh, he, he's a vegetarian that does cardio. I mean... I honestly don't have much of a chance. See, this is... <laughs> oh no, Katie! Sorry, Chance. I had to do this. I'm almost done. Oh, it's a summoning. I lost my wife one year ago. She's so beautiful. So young. Okay, what do I have got to do with this? I thought I would never see her again. I tried to commit suicide a few times. Well, you failed to your failure. But I found a way to bring her back. You and your girlfriend are helping me. I found an ancient ritual that could transfer a dead person's souls into a new body. But mine? But I need a dead person as an offering and a living woman to be the cocoon. Cocoon? Thanks, Chance. Your help was extremely important. Okay. Remember, this is all based upon a true story, you know, from the writer of the game. Sorry, Katie. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry, Katie. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I was always here. I was always here. I was always in this position. 
<laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm a very large boy, okay? All my rotundness is all over the place. I'm, I, I'm just saying, I was always here. Uh, I was always here. Don't look at me like that. By the way, is that your wife's skull? What a beautiful skull. Um, he seems to be very okay with me just sliding away. Um. <laughs> what happened? I got you now, evil! Your wife died because of you. And I'll make sure you join her. You want to see her? Ah! Electricity! He can teleport! Don't worry, Katie! I'll save you! Not today! There may be many plenty of fish in the sea. But there's only one I want to eat. It's Katie. Yeah, euphemism. That's euphemism. I'm not a cannibal, you son of a bitch. Do you want to see heaven? I guess you'll see heaven. Bad killer. Bad. Son of a bitch. I'll take you home, my love. Don't worry. Hold on. Just gotta be sure. Um. <laughs> Did you exhume your wife's? Skeleton? The, how many skulls does your wife have? Take Katie. Excellent. Let's go, honey. I'll take you home. We're fine. Let me get slowly transferred. Or maybe the guy is in love with me, so he transferred his soul inside Katie. Maybe. Am I gonna make love to the killer now? Well, I'm the killer. Well, technically. Well, technically, he's a kidnapper, and I am the killer. Uh, but you know, technically also, like, the killer is all of us today. Is she go Can I cook my- no, I can't cook my girlfriend. Can I give her a boss? No. We really refuse to take boss in this universe. Yeah, go in my bed. I feel like maybe you should sleep on the couch. Chance? You're really taking your chances with the two spheres. Do you think every night... ...when I get frisky with the- with the girlfriend? I say something like, I want to ponder your orbs. <laughs> uh, every guy's dream to ponder her orbs. <laughs> Katie, dear, what are you doing? Please. Katie, no, she's not here anymore. Oh! I'm, I'm still, I'm still of the belief that the guy transferred his body inside Katie and then he's gonna, he's gonna transfer his wife's body again later into me. In the end, we didn't win. Oh yeah. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. Uh, uh. In the end, you got stabbed. Oh yeah. After midnight too. It's Halloween night. Mary's hired as a nanny to take care of, of Drake, a seven-year-old boy. It was supposed to be a peaceful night, but the terrible killer appears to make Mary's life hell. And we're gonna live it. 616 Games presents After Midnight 2 by Rafael Braza. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, after Midnight 2. In the Himalayas, we. What? What's with the giant mountains every time? That guy's just wearing, just wearing a ghost hat. <laughs> We're going to a party and won't be back until the morning. Can you take care of Drake? Says Judy. That looks like. Uh, hopefully, you and Brad Pitt don't need to adopt more children. Um. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> wow. Um, um, there is at least four kinds of different models in the game. Don't worry, Miss Jude, I'll take care of Drake and enjoy your dinner. I left the paper on the table with some tasks for you to do. Don't worry, I'll overpay you. No, I think you're gonna overpay her for a different reason. That you, want, you don't want your wife to find out. Thank you, Mr. Scat, wink, wink. Um, okay, today is Halloween and the kids come asking for candy. I left some for you to give to these brats. Don't worry, we're going to have a lot of fun. What do you mean, we? You ate how many kids? 
Oh wow, they really booked it. Oh wow, they really booked it. Huh? <laughs> so many trash. Um, at least the houses are textured. Oh look! Oh, Palace Royale. Oh, oh, we're the richest family in this in this place. Oh, no wonder we can afford uh, babysitters. What's with the random wooden house? Man, eclectic value. Also, when you say we are gonna have fun, do you mean you and your ten boyfriends? Q to read instead of E. In addition to taking care of Drake, I, I need you to run some errands. Wash the dishes, sweep the porch, take out the garbage from the garage, give candies to children. Oh, broom. Um, oh, no. Oh, I have to do this in sequence. Okay, gotta take care of the kid for. Oh, there is a kid. Um. Shit. Disgusting. Do you have to talk like that, Josh? Relax, guys. How about some peace? Sure, Mike. If Josh stops being such an idiot. Excuse me. I'm gonna take a shit in peace while I'm I sorry, voice my acting? <laughs> Where did the games get voice acting? <laughs> Are you guys making an actual game? <laughs> what, it's Poop Killer 29 finally with some voice acting? I'm a teenage babysitter that is watching the kid who looks like a man. A tiny manlet. I think it's just a 30 year old manlet. I'm illegally playing on an actual Sony. A uh, poop killer seven with with uh with voice acting. Um, why is there? Feeling a lot lighter. The toilet's clogged. The entire game is shit apparently. <laughs> um, do I join you? What do oh, I do? Do I strangle the kid? Okay, kid, have fun with the dishes. Oh, I'm supposed to do this first. <laughs> Look at me speed running dirty dishes. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. This rich family doesn't have a... This rich family doesn't have a... There's a ghost coming over here. This rich family doesn't have a dishwasher. What? I have to wait for the kid to come in so I give them candy first. Okay, here you brat. How do I give candy? Oh, I don't have a candy give function. He's just wearing... What? Your mom was too cheap to get you the full cloth all the way down there? Trick or treat! Um. Okay, I'm gonna keep the door open. Drake? Um, I'm gonna keep the door open. Oh, please, don't tell me that little pervert like went to the room and sniffing mom's underwear. And I'm just saying, a 30 year old man lit. Drake, where are you? Oh, what, one of the patronites? A flashlight. No, I don't need that right now. Show up, I'll let you play more video games. Is that you? Um, right next to the bed of like the mom and dad, there is a, there's just a shoe stand. I guess mom really loves the shoes, huh? She loves it more than her husband that is like right next to the bed. Drake? Boo! Oh, oh, <clears throat> sorry. Boo! Shit, Drake, you scared me! You're always scared. It's time for bed, or I'll tell your parents you didn't behave. The man will barely get you, ha ha ha. What? Ha ha, very funny, now go to sleep. No. Okay, fine. I'll go to sleep. But I'm a man! Understand this, the Daisy... Ma Mary? A babysitter, whatever your name is, I'm a man! I'm a man! I'm, I'm not a kid, I'm a man! I'm just very short! Oh, not the broom. Hold on, more children want my candies. Um, it... Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> is there just a manlet around here? What happened? Trick or treating! Thank you, boy. <laughs> sweep, sweep, sweep! Oh, hey, look! Puppet combo stuff in your games, yay! 
Where am I even sweeping this? I'm just sweeping to the left and to the right. You know, it's like when you ask your kids to help you clean up the house. All they do is just they sweep left to the right. Like, they just spread dust. Let me guess, some creepies watching me. Where are they? Don't come around here, I'll give you brooming. I'll broom you. You're gonna get broomed. And our kid... Um... <laughs> I, f I feel like the hair really doesn't do it, but okay. Trick or treating! Here, take. Thank you! Um, the, the Wonder Woman have a cape? I don't remember that part in the Bible where Wonder Woman had a cape. She doesn't take out the trash from the garage. Hell yeah, and then I can rock out with my friends. Can I open the garage? No. Okay, time to throw away the trash in a smelly garbage can. Everybody has nice trash. Also, what a depressingly sad street. Also, why did they leave the trash in the garage? There. Another kid is gonna spawn down the corridor. No. What's my ne next objective? You're too old for candy. Um, is that... What, this is after the dad got the divorce? Red Dragons, Nomad. Um, is that gonna be my boyfriend or something? Is it Ghostbuster? Oh, look at the high poly... The high poly bike! Um, I feel like maybe we shouldn't park in the, in the driveway for the family, you know? Oh, by the way, what is this? Oh, it's a bell. A bell that uses the 1%. He's part of the 1%, are you sure? <laughs> fuck you! Oh, fuck you on his eyebrow, fuck you. He literally shaved his eyebrow just to write down fuck you. God, you know. Fuck you! You're, you're never gonna get employed, are you? His name is even Steve. Surprise, baby, I missed you. Steve, what are you doing here? I came to see you, it's Halloween, let's have fun. I'm taking care of Drake, you can't stay here. Relax, princess, his parents won't be back today. What, you killed them? Can I come in? Ah, that's what they always say, that's what they always say. Can you come in? The answer is always no. Oh, you mean in the house, oh. Okay, you can come in, but you need to behave, okay? Also, it's protection, I promise to behave. <laughs> Just leave the door open. Oh, hey, they're still playing the game. The game is on autopilot. Oh, no. This guy doesn't approve of, like, teenage girls making out with old guys in their 30s who have, like, a midlife crisis. <laughs> oh, no. Nobody can see him. Fucking walnut head. Um, I'm just ahead, I guess. Steve, where are you? Did you not insult walnut head? Oh no, his bike is here. Where is he? Oh no. Is the TV okay? Yeah, it's still okay. Steve? Steve, are you making out with the kid as well? The manlet? <laughs> yes. Uh, um, the door is open. You're welcome in, anyways. <laughs> hurt, hurt, hurt! What do you say, kid? Hurt, hurt, hurt! I can't hear you. Hurt, hurt, hurt! There's a lot of echo inside that heart. Oh! Hurt, hurt! What do you say? Hurt, hurt! You're welcome. <laughs> is he okay? He's not inside the parents' bedroom. Um, there's already another kid coming over there for, like, candy time. Um... Uh, did Drake leave the house to go and trick-treating? Trick-or-treating. I'm totally not Drake. Thank you, bye. I'll be back later, leave the door open, thanks. Steve, where are you? This is not funny. All these kids are scaring me. 
St shit, Steve, I know you're hiding. Are you hiding under the kid's bed like usual? No, okay. Let me guess, he's in a bed. No. He's not in the bathroom? What is... In the garage? <laughs> Hi, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, he's so charitable. Oh, look at the tongue. <gasps> is there a face inside that? <laughs> it's a nose. It's a nose. Ah! Even... Even pumpkin walnut head man. He 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 His nose His nose is sticking out of his I guess even the murderer has to breathe, you know. Trick or treat, little girl. Sorry sir, the candies are only for the kids. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> we are dotting really hard right now. Uh, okay, um, uh, uh, he doesn't want to talk to women, so he just panics. Uh, okay, on to play a game. There's only you and the boy in the house. The phone line is cut. Uh, if you leave the house, I'll kill you. Uh, you two have uh, you you two have options, and you have a little time to decide. Uh, if you want to survive, kill the boy, and I'll let you live. Uh, when the church bell rings, it'll be midnight. If the boy's still alive, I'll kill you both, and I guarantee you'll feel a lot of pain. Um, is this a joke? It's not funny. Yeah, it's a joke. Time is running out. <laughs> Did you just laugh like the Joker and die? Sorry, cough. Oh, <laughs> where's the knife? Fight. <laughs> Hey, Drake! Who was that man? I'm afraid. I'll protect you. Don't be afraid. He just was kidding. He didn't look like he was kidding. Stay close to me. Nothing bad will happen. Okay. Can I grab you like last time? No. Why? Hey, Drake, what do you think? Yeah, you are, you are a tricky old man. I know. I got my old crypto going. <laughs> yeah, and? I'm a millionaire. Oh, really? Good for you. Just saying girls like rich boys. Oh, really? Ah. Um... So what, I, I wait around? For someone who's scared, you're not doing much, are you, Drake? No. Knife. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, that was an option. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. I don't need... I, thanks, I'm fine. I don't want to get paid. Thanks. Ah, uh, the, <laughs> the cops are point. That cop is. P the two cops are pointing to the other cop. They're not pointing at me. Uh, look at the Grand Theft Auto cop cars. I'm sorry. Where the, did he? Did he literally call the cops on me? You son of a bitch. Typical incel. Yeah, you better walk away. Sorry. Um, in my defense, I, I didn't think the kid would die in one hit. You know, I thought he'd at least like trying running away and cooler stuff, but no. I like to imagine he's not even dead. <laughs> Drake is like, ow. Help, police, I'm still not dead. Please call. Please call an ambulance. Thanks. Mm, could you hide inside the garage, like behind here? Clearly he won't find you here, will he? No, Drake, go away. Drake, this is my hiding place. Drake! Okay, Drake, come over here. Yeah, come over here, Drake. Okay, yeah. Stay here. My hiding place, okay? Don't come in here. Um. <laughs> Drake? Yes. Are you sure you need my help? Yes, I'm scared. Can I run away with the bike? No. So what is Steve doing? Where's Steve? Got typical Steves, you can't rely on them. Oh no, it's midnight! It's midnight. Hide under the bed. Wardrobe. Oh no, I can open it. Um... <laughs> I think this window has some problems. Shit, I saw a lantern up there. 
<laughs> lantern, the fine lantern. <laughs> Where's my knife? No knife. Okay. What knife is going to stab kids or manlet? Uh huh. It's raining. Every time there's a showdown, it rains. In the 616 Games universe, the people know when something bad is about to happen. As soon as it starts raining, bad things happen. Every time. Every time on the weather forecast. Hey, today it's raining, someone died. A knife. A fridge. Oh. My god, Steve, no! My sugar daddy. Oh, never mind, he's dead, okay. Hey, Drake, you see that? This is what happens if you join crypto. Oh, no. Drake, hide in the garage. Drake, hide in the bedroom. Drake, hide in the bed. Under the room, under the bed. Don't come out, okay? Okay, Drake. Drake, answer me. Okay. Are you sure, Drake? You understood? Yeah, I did. Okay, good for you, Drake. Thank you. Where in the bedroom? <laughs> Get under the bed and don't make any noises. Please don't let that man hurt me. I need something to defend myself with. I'm going to kill that son of a bitch. Daddy has a gun inside the wardrobe. Are you just saying this to me now? Okay, I'll look. Thank you. Uh, by the way, they clearly won't see me. <laughs> huh? Oh, you become invincible once you start running. Where did you think you were running, Walnut Man? Um. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Ow, she shot me out! <laughs> uh, typical incel runs away as soon as the woman fights back, huh? Is he gonna teleport inside the rooms now? He better not. Can I shoot the kid? No. <laughs> Ow! Ow, that hurt! Ow! Ow! There's only one glass now. What? Why is there only one glass? Okay. Actually, what happens if you kill me? Actually, what happens if I run out of ammo? Dad only had money for enough for three shots, huh? Oh, that's it! He just kills me! Oh, he's under bed. Of course, I'm gonna get an upgrade. There we go. <laughs> oh, he just sequence spawns. Okay, I have to trigger the sequence spawns. I got you now, evil. There. Ow! 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 My eye! Ow! <laughs> now, please, no! Please, help! <laughs> there is two of them! <laughs> there is three! Oh, uh, well. Wow, they're really propagating! What? <laughs> what? I got you now, evil. I got you now, evil. <laughs> oh, I was in, in the middle of his pathway, that's why. <laughs> the blood that gets left behind. <sighs> okay, where's the next sequence trigger? We're here again? Oh, um, you're really getting covered in blood. Just gonna point that out. <laughs> Get out of his way. Um, oh. There one. Bad candy. Shoot the bananas? Shoot the door? Shoot the neighbors? Because they don't want to help me? Mary killed a killer. Good for Mary. When the police arrived at the scene, there was no body. Is it possible he's still alive? I mean, you never know it, pumpkin walnut man. <laughs> what? Uh, each, one of these, each, each one of these endings is worse than the other one. Mary shot some people. Mary shot some people. She shot a lot of walnut heads. Mary shot some people. There were so many of them. Like five, I think. And the last one took two shots. I don't know why. Because... <laughs> just a bunch of incels. They like met up just to bully this one person. Okay. Red.